All right, one of our regulars, JOT, says my 221G took nine months in the U.S. consulate in Montreal. After the spouse interview, what should I do? Okay, so uh, it's the embassy in Montreal there. That's the, you know, they do consular off affairs. And for if you're going to do your green card in Canada, you go to Montreal. That's the embassy you go to. They have other consulates there, for example, in Vancouver. But for green cards, you all go, uh, for Canadians, go to Montreal, Canada. Now, 221G, for those who don't know, is this uh, thing called administrative processing, which says they're going to look into your case and follow up with you. And it's not clear how long that's going to take. A lot of times it takes a week or two, but sometimes it takes six, nine months. And when it starts taking that long, what we usually talk with clients about is filing a lawsuit against the government for these delays to help hurry the process up. Doesn't always work, but you know, it's worth a shot. In this case, gentlemen had nine months of it. Um, and uh, what, uh, what, what I'm guessing nothing's happened. So in your case, you might want to schedule time with their office to talk about potentially suing the government for the delay because I've seen these cases take years and years. Sometimes it gets a, you know, you'll get a notice saying, come. I've had cases take nine months after administrative processing. This happened recently. We had a case in Ankara, Turkey, uh, January. They had the interview January 2022, and it wasn't until October 2022 that they sent an uh, email saying, we're ready now to issue the visa. They gave their passport. It took four weeks, unbelievable, four weeks to return the passport with the visa stamp. So essentially 10 months of waiting on ministry processing. Uh, but that was done. So that's that. But that, you know, I told a couple you could sue as well and give that a shot. But you know, there's a lot of things to go on lawsuits. Uh, we have an attorney who does these lawsuits a lot that helps our firm. So if you're interested in that, schedule a consultation and we can talk in private about it. But you know, unfortunately, this administrative processing gets worse and worse every day, but it's just one of the hurdles you have to deal with in the immigration process. Thank you for watching this educational program. To get the latest videos, click the subscribe button and the notification bell icon. Also, help us help the immigrant community by liking this video and sharing it with your family and friends. You can also find us on other social media sites like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Twitter, where you find the latest updates on immigration news, policy changes, and tips. Be safe and God bless. See you soon.